Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday morning, middle of the week. Thanks for being here today. About two weeks ago, three weeks ago or so, uh, we were somewhere, my wife and I, and also my mother-in-law, she was with us as well. And so we got out of the car and she glanced down at the, at the tire and she said, oh, I want to show you something. So I went over there and she showed me that in the back tire, there was a screw. I'd run over a screw. There was a screw in the tire. And I said, oh goodness. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for pointing that out, mother-in-law. I appreciate it. And so guess what I did? I went on my merry way. Oh, I, I didn't forget about it. It's just, I put it in the back of my mind thinking I'll, I'll get, I'll go to the tire shop and have them, you know, get that out of there. And if, if it needs to be repaired, then they can repair it. Uh, it was in my mind. And then yesterday, what, some weeks later, two and a half, three weeks later, I was traveling down the interstate. And then my low tire pressure light came on. And immediately I was reminded of the fact that I had not taken that tire to the tire shop and had it taken care of. I, I knew it was a problem, but I didn't take care of it. And so again, I was on the interstate and I was out of my hometown area. And so I thought I had better find me a tire shop today, not just today, but the next thing on my list, I better do it now. And so I found me one. They were very kind, very courteous, very professional when I walked in and told them my issue with my tire. And so while standing there at the counter in the tire shop, I also asked them, and while I'm here, would you go ahead and rotate the tires? It's been a while since rotating the tires is probably time. So they said, sure, no problem. So I sat down, relaxed for about 10 minutes. And then I heard them say, hey, your car is ready. And so I walk up to the counter and they said, you're good to go. And I had my, had my money ready. What? Yep, you're good to go. I said, well, what I owe you? I mean, cause usually here lately, it's been 20 bucks for a flat tire uh, to get a flat tire fixed. And then about 24, 25, 28, depends uh, on the rotation to get a tire, to get your tires rotated. And they're like, no, 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 you're good to go. Just remember us, just remember us when it comes time to buy tires. Just remember us. Well, I guarantee you I will, I promise you. <laughs> that was very kind. It wasn't just kind, but what they were doing as well is they were investing in the future. They were they were trying to win a customer. They were they were investing in the future, their future business. Do you know that we gotta invest in our future as well? We have to invest in our future as well. Galatians chapter six, verse number seven. Begin reading there. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Maybe you have been sowing seed and doing good and doing your best. <laughs> and you're thinking, I am just, you know, fighting against the wind. I'm just swimming upstream. I I've been, I've been doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I've been, I've been sowing good seed and I have not saw any crop. I've not saw any benefit. I've not saw any better thing happen. You just, you just know this, your crop's going to come up. It may not come up today or tomorrow, but if you keep sowing good things, your crop's going to come up. Rest assured, your crop's going to come up. God keeps good records. God knows what you've been doing. And he, he will make sure that your crop will come up. Wherever you sow, whatever you sow, good or bad, that will eventually come up. God bless you, everybody. Have a great day. Hope to see you tomorrow right here on Coffee with the Pastor.